What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Salty Bottom Outdoors. On today's episode, I have the best catching cook that I have ever done. Some of the best tasting fish I've ever cooked with live witness statements confirming that. It tastes like you just got it from Joe Patty's. That's fire. <laughs> it tastes so good. It just makes my soul happy. But before we get into all of that, Dusty Fish Co. and I joined Captain Ryan Reed of Badlands Charters out of Destin to go offshore again. Battled some rough weather at the beginning, delayed our trip by a couple of hours, but wound up having a great day. Thank y'all so much for smashing that like and subscribe button down below. You'll sit back, enjoy the action. I'll see you back here in just a few minutes. I just got hit. All right, so it's, all right. There he is, there he is. Up. Yep, yep. Be an Almaco, please be an Almaco. Right? Bonita? Yeah, baby Bonita. Is it? Itty bitty Bonita, yep. Oh, no, that's enormous. Oh, it is. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. That's that is fantastic sushi. Yeah, it's not a bonita. It's an Atlantic bonita. Look at that's the chompers bonita. on that guy, though. Jeez. So this is an Atlantic bonita, a little bit different species than what we're used to catching. I'm told it's fantastic. Look at the teeth on that monster. Woo! You're going to want to jerk it a lot faster, Dave. Big, big jerks, not as much reeling. High school days. Giggity. <laughs> there, we there he is. There we go. Not a big one. I can't show you what he catches. You gotta go to his channel. So that's another one of them little bonitas too. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a decent one there. Gotta be careful with them teeth. Got these guys flying over the gunnel right now, just left and right. Oh, there he is. He came back for it. Hit it, dropped it, came back for it. Another Bonita. Cap, I need your D hooker. All right. Got another one for you. All right. This box is looking a bloody mess, isn't it? Yep. There he is. Hit it on the drop. Ah, went to let some line out. Let it go back to the bottom. He hit it. What do we got? What do we got? Well, Look at that. No, that's a, that's a robin. Uh, yeah. It's a sea robin. Check this out, guys. These are cool fish. These are poisonous, right? I believe so. If I'm not mistaken. Oh. Those spines on the top of their head, I thought they had some type of venom in them. But we are not keeping that. Just a really, really cool looking fish there. Be good. All right. Feels decent. He came suspended, Cap. He was a. He was uh, about four cranks off the bottom. Trigger. Yep. Called it. Thought it might be a trigger. There we go. Close to a keeper. All right. Let's see. Oh, let me... All right, guys. Check this out. Beautiful big gray trigger. You want to see something cool? Try to push that, try to push that fin down. Just grab it up, grab with your finger, push it on the front. Can't push it, right? Grab the second fin. Same spot, push it down. Isn't that crazy? You wanna try it? You can't push on the second fin. Oh, trigger. You got your measuring stick, Cap? Yeah. All right, let's see if he's a keeper. Hope he is, I hadn't had trigger in a very long time. 
Are you gonna be an eighth of an inch? Oh, he cuts it. Look at that. He's an eighth of an inch over. Yeah, boy. There he is. Okay. That feels a little better. Uh, got color. What is he? Oh, I don't have color. That's just a cloud. There he is. Yep, another trigger. Uh, Ain't gonna be short. Ain't gonna be short. Another short trigger. Looking like we'll put him on a stick just to make sure. All right, 15 inches to the fork to keep. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be short. Stick it on the tape just to make sure. Yeah, hey, he's about an inch short. He's about an inch short, so we're gonna let this guy go. Beautiful gray trigger. See you, buddy. Guys, uh, it's been a little hunt and peck here recently. Did a little damage, got some nice keepers in the box of True Bonita, which I've heard are fantastic eating, so we're gonna try those out. Also got my trigger to go on that, and I'm really excited about that because it's been a long time since I've caught trigger fish. We are about to move again and uh, hopefully get on some more species that we can fill the box with. Uh, we got a little bit of a run here. I'll see y'all the next stop. So these guys are good bait, so we can take that hook, go right through the roof of the mouth, come right out the top just like that. Drop them in there. Send him on his way. You want the the big rod down? just went off, guys. Possibly. Oh, 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 he's got this rod. I can't even pull it out of the rod holder. He's got this rod doubled up. Oh, my God. That's on that whole ruby red lips. Oh. Strip and drag. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Don't get. I don't know. I, I do know that it's probably going to be a long fight. Now go ahead and reel it up in case you double pack. Oh, I gained a little ga ground on him. Huh? I said I gained a little ground on him. He's trying to take it back. He's taking it back. Oh, you little bastard. Yeah, yeah, bump Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Stop, stop. He's still dragging. Oh my god. I did get snagged. I'm off my hook and everything. Sharks? Yeah. I'm going to have to take it. Yeah, I got it. There he is. Come on. Come on. Finally gaining a little bit on him. All right, go ahead and get it out of that rod holder. Tighten that line up. There we go. God! They're a whole different animal without the rod holder on there. <laughs> Come on. Finally gaining a little ground on him. No! Oh, oh, you saw him pull. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're doing better than the rod holder. Man, you had a cameraman and everything. I'm screwed it up. Okay, that was a yellow. Shark. Nah, that wasn't a shark. No. Nah. Well, that's that's the that's what my line looks like. He just so. wore through. That wasn't a shark. Any, any words for your right. fans, Kevin? I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Guys, I need to go fund me to heal my broken heart. There'll be a link in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was that uh, Ruby still alive? The one I got on there? Yeah. Depends on your definition of alive. Okay, okay that's a big one. That's a heavy fish. Gosh! God! Hey, he's off. Oh. Any bigger equipment, huh? Dude! I hung him and I thought I had bottom for a second. Just nothing. Have you got both hooks? I do. Any? I got both hooks. All right. And I mean, just wouldn't move. And I was like, did I get, there's no way I got snagged six pumps off the bottom. And then it just started moving. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Had a hit? Oh, you got one? Oh, and I'm on. 
Trip, almost tripled up. It's gonna be another Benita the way it's running. Yeah, I see him. Yep, another Benita. Oh, oh no, we're tangled. Yeah, hold up, just hold what you got. Just. Yep, we are, I'm about to get mine out though. Got one in. Here, I'll just hand line yours. He's right here. <laughs> All right, got both of them in. <laughs> yeah, nice ones too, though. Big Bonita. There we go. All right. There's Dave's Bonita. We're gonna send him back. See you, buddy. Oh, oh. There's my Bonita. Lucky him. Gonna send him back too. Face down. See you, buddy. Off he goes like a bullet. All right. How can I help? There he is. Not as big. Definitely not as big. Maybe it's another mango. Come on. Maybe an Almaco. It's looking sort of like an Almaco. I think, no, nah, I think it's a baby AJ. Yep. No, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. He, his fins didn't look as dark as the other ones. There we go. It doesn't matter. It's that length. Right. Another keeper Almaco in the box. There you go. And he came right off just like that. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Quick release, baby. All right, we got Dave on, guys. Got it. And we got somebody hooked up on the back. Let's go, baby. And I'm on. And I'm on. That's tripled up. All right, we got a triple. Yeah. We're going to have to watch uh, yeah, Dustin. Yeah. And uh, huh. Dustin Bonita. Yeah. Dustin Bonita. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and the recipe calls for half and half. Uh, I've got way more than I need, kind of got carried away, but you know, if you need a half a cup, you do a quarter cup of each. We're gonna cover this fish on all sides with it, both sides, all in between and everything. Cover it and throw it in the fridge for about an hour. We take it off and rinse this brine back off. I'm just gonna take and sprinkle. Nice layer. Mash it up on all the exposed sides of the fish. Flip it over without knocking too much off. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna throw this in the fridge, I'm gonna set a timer for about an hour. I'll see y'all when it goes off. So I got my Almaco fillets and I'm just going to cut them into a few pieces to make it easier to handle on a skillet as well as to make it cook a little more evenly and a little more quickly. All right, so it's been an hour. Let's check on our amberjack fillets. Wrong fish. So it's been an hour now, we're gonna check on our Almaco Jack fillets. So next step is rinse all the dry brine off and then pat the fish fillet dry. So I can already see the advantage of dry brining, especially if you're gonna smoke because the meat is, is more firm. So now we just gotta pat these dry. I'm gonna season this a little bit. Now it's already been salt brine, so I don't really need salt. It's already got brown sugar. I don't really need something sweet. So I'm just gonna hit it with some basics. Onion powder, a little cayenne to give it some uh, kick. Black pepper, garlic powder. And then I'm gonna try a little cumin on it. I love the smell of cumin. Now that I've got them rinsed off, I'm gonna cover them with foil and I'll put them back in the fridge until I'm ready to smoke them. So I got my smoker set on 200, perfect. You want to lay it on the coldest part of the smoker. The heat source in my smoker is here, so I want it as farthest away with the thickest part of the meat towards the smoker so it cooks more evenly. It could take up to two hours. I'm going to check it at about an hour and a half for internal temperature we're looking for is about 140, 145. All right guys, it's been a little over an hour. Uh, this is a smaller piece of fish, so I suspected it was done early. We're gonna double check it right quick. Looking for 140, 145. Yeah, it's there. We're gonna go ahead and take it off. Ooh, it looks tasty. So the next step is to pull apart the fish, but it needs to cool down a little bit, so I'm gonna leave it on the counter. So y'all know I gotta try a piece of this smoked fish before I actually put it in the fish dip. So let's give it a let's give it a bite. Mmm, great flavor. A little chewy, but I mean that's it's smoked. But <laughs> it tastes so good. All right, now we gotta get the fish pulled apart and then mixed in with the rest of the ingredients. With the fish, you're literally just gonna flake it apart with a fork. All right, so I've already chopped up the jalapenos, the onions, I put some garlic in there. I got a quarter cup of mayonnaise and I need a quarter cup of cream cheese. Now, to make your life easier, let the cream cheese get to, let the cream cheese get to room temperature first. I'm also gonna put the juice of one lemon that I squeezed earlier. And I'm also gonna put some zest of lemon in there, or of lime. I'm gonna put some of the fish in there. I think I might have too much fish. No, I think I got enough. I think I got it right, let's see. And top it off with some Old Bay seasoning. And we're also gonna add a little extra kick to it, some Serrano pepper sauce. It smells great already. Let's blend it up and see how it looks. Gosh, guys, that, and it smells so good. 
so freaking good. So I doctored up the recipe a little bit. I put a little bit more hot sauce on it. And I also added some Slap Your Mama, which is my favorite Louisiana style seasoning. And uh, I'm about to try it on a cracker for the first time. And let's see. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? That stuff's dangerous. That's the, I can sit down and eat a whole bowl of that type of dangerous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get it in the fridge to chill and I'm gonna get the stuff ready for the black end Amico. Got some melted butter here. All right, I know y'all have seen me use it a lot lately, but that's just because it's so good. All right, I'm using my Tony Sachery's blackened seasoning. One of my favorite go-tos. All right, let's check on the heat of our pan. 550, so we're good to go. I want five to 600 degrees. Take the butter, drop it in there. We're gonna drop the blaze in. Okay, so we got them flipped. We're just gonna keep, keep an eye on them. Another one to three minutes on that side. Uh, and we're looking for 140 degrees, 145 degrees internal temperature. And that looking fantastic. All right, last couple of pieces. Done. Got the black and Almaco back in the kitchen. Last thing we gotta do, hit it with a little lemon. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. Top it off with a little bit of Old Bay. And to make it look fancy, have a wrist cracker. <laughs> All right, first things first, I gotta try a big bite of that black and Almaco. So we're gonna take this chunk right here. It just makes my soul happy. It's delicious. I love this black and Almaco. Let's get a bite of the fish dip on the rich cracker. If I could scoop it. <laughs> that is killer and I don't know which one's better. Sounds like I need to try it. You do. That's, that's your, uh, those are yours. This is the black enamico? Black enamico, yep. Mmm. It's pretty tasty. Those are fire. And then that's Oh my this, god, those are good. That's the smoked amico, amico dip. Looks like you just got it from Joe Patty's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I got, I got plenty. It tastes like you just got it from Joe Patty's. That's fire. All right, thank y'all so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. My boy Dusty Fishco back What's there. Up, See y'all next time right here on Salty Bottom Outdoors.